Hello and welcome to Northern Ballistics Canada. I am your host, Jason Craig, and today we are talking about the Benjamin Craftsman Series Caden. This rifle was sent today by Travis over at Airgun Source. It is your Canadian source for everything air guns. PCP, CO2, multi-pump, you name it, they've got everything, ammunition, scopes, accessories, Check them out, www.airgunsource.ca. And again, thank you, Travis, for shipping this wonderful rifle out to us. So a little bit of background on this rifle. It is part of the Craftsman series from Benjamin, which is the Aquila, the Caden, and the Kratos. All three of these are their sort of higher end hunting rifle lineup from Benjamin. They've kind of hit it out of the park with the quality on this. So this rifle comes in at about 750 Canadian, about 550 US dollars. Uh, depending on where you're buying it, you're gonna run into different taxes and duties and all that kind of stuff. But check out your local supplier, your local retailer that sells you your air guns and you should be able to find your local price. Because I do realize that a lot of our uh, followers aren't from Canada, don't all shop at Air Gun Source. But uh, yeah, definitely go check out the pricing out online. In this price point, I think that this rifle is well worth the dollar that you're gonna pay for it. So it's not down at the cheap end like uh, some of the other PCP rifles that we've done reviews on in the past here. Um, and it's not up at the high end of like the $2,000 rifles that uh, you're seeing some guys buy. This sits somewhere right in the middle and the quality shows it. Comes with a nice walnut stock here, uh, adjustable cheek piece for your cheek rest, uh, pick a tinny rail on top for your scope. Uh, it comes with a threaded barrel here on the end. So for you, those of you in the United States that can get away with using a sound suppressor, half inch UNF threads on the end so you can put your can on there. Comes with the Picatinny rail for the bipod on the bottom. It also has sling studs for those hunters that want to put a sling on and then want to carry this rifle around in, in the forest looking for squirrels, you name it, small game. So super high quality in the stock. The stock is amazing, but it's walnut. Walnut is heavy. So overall, this entire package, we've got the element line, uh, the element helix on top, which is also a somewhat of a heavy uh, scope. And then we've got the walnut here on the Benjamin Caden. And together, this whole package is over 10 pounds. It is a heavy rifle. I also have the bipod weight on there as well. Aside from its weight, it still feels really good in the hand, and the added weight can help with some accuracy for some people. The Benjamin Company was formed in 1902, and Walter R. Benjamin purchased the patent rights from a small manufacturer, the St. Louis Air Rifle Company. In 1977, the Benjamin Air Rifle Company purchased Sheridan Products in Racine, Wisconsin. Benjamin and Sheridan were acquired by Crossman in 1992, and it has been positioned as their adult hunting air rifle lineup ever since. This rifle was produced for Benjamin by another popular air rifle manufacturer in Turkey. So speaking of Turkey, Turkey is really well known for their walnut stocks. This unique design, I really like this, the shape here in the butt end of the stock. It's got really nice lines. It's got, um, some engraving in the side here to give you some added grip here but overall this stock to me is top notch this is good wood good heavy solid walnut so let's talk about the power plant obviously i've said the word pcp multiple times this is a pre-charged pneumatic rifle um, using a hand pump or a automatic pump you can fill through the fill port here and this got this nice little cover here that covers up pops on there perfectly the cylinder is a 280 cc tank and when full it gives you a lot of shots on low power and you get about 48 shots on high power before you're down below any sort of good range of shooting. The tank is fillable to 3000 psi which is 206 bar. Rifle is fully adjustable here through a transfer port adjustment. It has four notches, but it doesn't really seat into any of those notches, so it's just a variable change. It goes from about 470 feet per second all the way up over 1,000 feet per second with lead. So quite an adjustability, quite a range of what you're getting out of this power plant. 
I find it absolutely amazing to have this adjustment because I can turn it down. I can use it here on the farm for, for pesting rats and you know birds and stuff like that. Or I can turn it up and I can shoot slugs out of it and it does well. This is a side lever action. This manufacturer is known for a lot of their side levers. It is super smooth. It is super positive in the feel. There's no slack or any sort of wiggle room in there. It's a really solid build here in the side lever. The Caden features a 580 millimeter barrel, which is just over 20 inches. Gives you a lot of barrel, which gives some amazing accuracy. So I mentioned the weight with all of this stuff is over about 10 pounds. The rifle itself with just the, the stock and the rifle, no scope, no bipod, you're looking at 7.95 pounds as a starting weight. The price for this is for sale on Air Gun Source for $729.99 Canadian, which equals out to be about $550 USD. Although this is a higher than a starter package price point, the rifle operates super easy functional functions well i think that any uh, level of shooter could shoot this i think if you're smaller uh, you may have issues with the weight but overall this is a gun that could be used by anybody so i did a lot of pellet testing on this with this rifle i tested a ton of pellets so you guys can have yourself a starting point if you purchase this rifle um, always test your own pellets always buy a variety of pellets and test what works best in your specific gun because each barrel can be slightly different, but I've done a lot of work on the starting point. All of the pellets, their feet per second, their foot pounds of energy, all of that information is below in the description. So with any review, you wanna talk about the positives to try and help sell these guns. There's always a couple negatives, and I like to point out both because I wanna be honest. I want you guys to understand exactly what you're getting here. Um, with this gun though, there isn't a ton of problems. I find that uh, I love this thing. This is probably my favorite air rifle I've, I've used so far, but a couple of small things. So a couple of the cons would be, I have to dry fire this empty if I wanna work on it, if I wanna do any adjustment or change or anything like that and I need it degassed. It doesn't come with a degassing option. There's no degassing tool, there's no valve or anything to release. So you have to dry fire it till it's empty. That takes a lot of time and effort and just not something that I'm really looking forward to do when I have to do that. It would have been nice to have that option to be able to degas but they're not the only rifle out there with that problem. The other small gripe that I would have is here in the bipod, it's a singular uh, stud into the stock instead of having one at one end of the rail and one at the other end of the rail, it's a singular right in the middle. So what tends to happen is that rail wants to twist. So, you know, you can get it nice and tight, you can Loctite it, but still there's a tendency to want to twist there. I really just wish it had the two screws and then that piece is in there solid and there's no play. And that's about it. It's, there's no other real problems with it. It's accurate as can be. It's quiet. It's adjustable. It's beautiful. It is well worth the money that you're going to pay for this. I think it's probably worth even a little bit more. Uh, especially for you guys down in the States, 550 bucks for an air rifle gets you, uh, you know, usually in the lower end side. This I would put in the, the higher end. It, it's a really nice rifle. It's really accurate. It can shoot slugs. It can shoot slowly if you need it to. It's just a lot of rifle for your money. And I think that uh, every dollar spent on this is well worth it. So in conclusion, I truly wish that I, as a Canadian, could use the uh, Aquila. It's a nice small package, but we don't have uh, bull pups here in Canada. Hopefully one day I'll get my hands on the Kratos because it's also, uh, it's a bottle fed and it's, it's very similar to this, but uh, a little bit higher end than this one, a little bit more expensive, but a beautiful rifle nonetheless. And if it's anything like this one, then it's gonna be also worth the money. And again, this is the cheapest of the three, is the Caden, and it is phenomenal. So. What else can I tell you? Not a whole heck of a lot. Feel free to fire me questions in the comments below. Fire me questions on Instagram. Check out our website, www.northernballistics.ca. You can find out more information on what we do there. Um, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Put a comment in below. Negative, positive questions, I don't care. Just talk to us, we love it. 
Uh, and lastly, yeah, check out all our other videos. There's, I'll put one here and one here and keep watching. Have a great day. Hit that subscription button and thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.